Drought here in California is getting worse by the week. Turns out that 59% of the state is now in extreme drought. That's compared with about 40% last week. The conditions are taking a toll on California's rice crops, but those rice crops do require about five feet of water a year in our semi-desert state. Experts say 80% of rice acreage will not be planted this year. That's hundreds of thousands of acres. Farmers south of the Delta say it's because they are not getting any water from Lake Shasta. They're not letting anybody uh, use water for their farms. These small towns, they depend on the money that comes in off of agriculture, and without the water, these towns are drying up. I mean, it's a ghost town when you go to these small towns. Lake Shasta is below 50% capacity at a historic low. CBS reporter Ben Tracy shows us how two decades of drought is now threatening a critical western water supply. It's hard to believe a place this beautiful is also a shadow of its former self. Lake Powell has mostly been on a decline for the past two decades. Eric Belkin runs the Glen Canyon Institute, which wants to restore the canyon that was flooded in the 1960s to create Lake Powell, the nation's second largest reservoir. This area that we're in right now is 177 feet below full pool. And when was the last time it was that high? Full was in 1999. The top of that white bathtub ring is where the water used to be. Satellite images show the dramatic impact of the 22-year-long mega drought. The lake is now just 24% full. It looks like we can expect this to be a new normal. Climate change is making the West hotter and drier, threatening the Colorado River system. It includes the man-made reservoirs of Lake Powell in Utah and Lake Mead in Nevada and provides water for 40 million people in seven states. You had 12 ramps and now this is all you got. This is all we got. The National Park Service has been forced to shut down 11 boat ramps at the Lake Powell Recreation Area, and critically low lake levels could soon cause the Glen Canyon Dam to stop producing hydropower for more than 5 million people. How unprecedented is what's going on here? It's completely unprecedented. This lake hasn't been at this level since 1967. At this moment, Lake Powell was born. That's when Glen Canyon was drowned erasing a landscape often compared to the Grand Canyon. It's a very special place. Now as the water recedes, the canyon is being reborn. This is just stunning in here. Balkan took us to what's called Cathedral in the Desert, parts of which have not been seen for 60 years. And he showed us this natural bridge that just emerged from the water. This bridge was covered by water, so what we're boating under, you used to be able to boat over. He used to be able to bow over the top of this bridge. Bulkin thinks Lake Powell's remaining water should be sent downriver to prop up Lake Mead, and Glen Canyon turned into a national park. We can't just go on with business as usual and hope that more water fills this reservoir because it's probably not going to. And if so, a once lost canyon may be rediscovered. I'm Ben Tracy in Big Water, Utah.